Cut it off early, why not? Alrighty, what's up guys? It's Daz here. But you don't really care as we're now playing as Knuckles. We got a little bit of a cliffhanger from Sonic and Tails, so meanwhile, on something strong. Knuckles is doing his own little thing, and here we can also find another optional upgrade for us to get in this uh, level. Hopefully I remember how to get it. I know exactly where it is, just not quite certain how to get it, but we'll find out. We wanna go on somewhere sh something strong. I don't know. This whole level is uh, just one giant tall level. I think it's really good for Knuckles because you know, he, he's, a, he's a vertical flyer and there's the, the diving he can do whilst flying is just immensely helpful and fun to play with on this level. Like seriously, I don't know, wow. Okay, that was easy enough. Completely luck-based, and it's very nice when it happens. There we go. Down below. Oh, okay. On something strong, though. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, there is a glass wall around some of these pillars. You can tell by the beaming light, but it's only the bottom one. That's what it looks like. Maybe it changes over time. I can't actually remember. So maybe it's on one of these excavator things? Or something else I really like, though. You can get little footprints on this little... I don't know what it is, rocket fuel thing. It's really cool. Right, where is a strong thing? There we go. Over here. No, you can punch the rocks. If you punch it into a box like that, it will break it. On the yellow bulldozer, which is on the grey ground below. It's yep. Right, you are. Uh, okay, one more left already. In that case, let me make an effort to uh, get that extra optional thing. Um, right, first things first, let's break you. Or go right over you. Nice. Uh, can I break it these then? Nope. Also, there's random meteors. Be aware of that. Alright, maybe they're not used to destroy those boxes. Hmm. Oh, okay, it's opening it opens these doors. Alright. Good to know. Right, let's make further progress. What we want to do is open the door in the middle of this uh, pillar thing. There's a switch, I guess, somewhere around here. I think it's way up high, so uh, give me a moment. Let me do some climbing. Jump from the star. All right, I'll do that later. Here it is. So we got this switch here, which is very important. Let's bring that down and then climb up onto it. There should be a rocket nearby. There it is. Put a bing which unlocks our switch. It's just floating way up above, and I believe maybe I was going for another switch. What do you say, Festival? A lot of meteorites. Noted. Yeah, no, it, it still didn't open the thing, huh? Hmm. There's a switch somewhere. Maybe it is one of those other doors. Let me try that too, then. I'm gonna get a bad rank just because I'm trying to find this optional thing, which I'm not even gonna use, but oh well. Yeah, see, that was just rings. Ah, this one's positioned more dramatically. So maybe it's this. Yeah, look at that. It's even positioned for you. All right, that's not how you do it. Maybe a bit more strength next time, eh, Knuckles? I can't do power, apparently. Come on. There we go. Now that opens a steel box. Okay. With a switch. All right, that was it. I knew it was a switch somewhere. This now opens the main door, which will obviously give us access to the down below area, which will give us that upgrade. Not too useful. Maybe it is, but I don't know it. It's sunglasses. Yup. Let's you see invisible things. Press Y to choose what you want to do, including whistle. Sunglasses let you see the invisible stuff. Kinda good. Kinda helpful. Maybe. Who knows. Um, when you jump, it goes away, I believe. Biggest and fastest rotating meter you see after something or other. Uh, there's a way to see your options. Jump from the star. That's it. It goes by automatically. A lot of meteorites. Biggest and fastest rotating meter you see after using the spring. I don't know what spring they're referring to, but all right. <coughs> I'm thinking we just got to go real high because, I mean, the springs imply it's going to be high anyway. 
Uh, I'm only gonna keep doing it until something rings. The biggest, fastest spinning meteor. There's some spinning meteors here, but not a ton. Let's go. <laughs> Jump from the star. Here's the star. Jump from it. Nope. I guess there's other stars in the world. Rocket it is, taking us way higher than anything else. Surely you're gonna give us something. And the spring. Here. Alright, another rocket, sure. Super extreme height. Really? I mean, meteors come from above, so you'd think there's meteors over there as well. As I said though, look at the well, I can't I can't turn the camera to look down, but we are at an extreme height right now. I really love the design of this level, as much as it's just a sort of blippity series of planets, it's just like, I don't know, I really like it. Where? Where? Maybe this is it, so jump from the star onto this spring, the first one you see that's spinning. Mm, I didn't see a lot of spinning. Didn't see a lot of anything, honestly. Oh, here we go. Lots of meters here. Okay, and this is the spring they're referring to. There's a lot of springs, right? And it's that one there. Got it. And I missed it. Yep, I missed it. Gosh, I didn't even notice this media herd last time. I found him. I have to try harder. Yeah, yeah. Time for a boss. Long time no see, treasure hunter. Did you find my emerald? That's a good one. Your emerald? Talking to you is a waste of time. Very well. If that's how you want to play, I will take it from you. Just like Shadow and Eggman, all you want to do is hit her three times. You're allowed to hit a girl in this game. She's the same as you. So, normal punches will do fine the first time, and she'll do her normal punches too. Dives are also the biggest recommendation though, because, as you can see, we're flying about now. It's also kind of hard to see where she is. Uh, what I like to do is I like climbing this, waiting until she tries to get for you, which happens soonish, and then when she's eventually below you, you just dig down on her. But I gotta find her first. Oh, I'm guessing she's down... no? Where did she go? You know what, I'll just casually climb to the top until I see her. You can't actually get to the very top of this platform, I don't think. Nah, it stopped right there. So the camera actually is really awkward on this one. Where are you? There you are! What are you doing? Dig, dig! Nope, dive even. Not dig. You can usually tell where she is by her shadow. Not the best. Okay, she's just climbing to the corner. There we go. Do that a lot. Now, this, her black wave, I think is what she's saying. She's going to be spamming that a lot. Again, dig onto her, you'll be fine. And not three times, four times. You can also, with her cutscene later on, you can make Big the Cat appear by pressing a button. I'm going to do my best to do it and hopefully not accidentally skip the cutscene. Let's see how it goes, huh? I never lose. Get away from my emerald. Stop fooling around and give me back my emerald. What are you babbling about? You call yourself a hunter attacking a lady? Shame on you! What kind of lady goes around stealing gems anyway? Those belong to me! What in the world? Keep your hands to yourself! 
Don't touch me. Is that how you say thanks to someone who just saved your life? Saving my life? Don't think I owe you one. You just wanted to hold my hand, didn't you? That's why you saved me. You're such a creep. This isn't a joke, you know. Think what you want, that girl. I was saving the Master Emerald. <sighs> no matter what you say, it sounds crazy. What? Fine, then just take them. They stink like a kidnapped do. If that's what you thought, you should have given me them in the first place. Finally. What? I'm sorry if I hurt you. We should get going. in a bit of a bad mood. We need to go and save whatever's going on with Sonic and Tail and, no, Amy, Tail, Jesus Christ, Tails and Amy, excuse me, and get back to Eggman as soon as we can. I remember doing this. This is as far as I got when I last did my Let's Play, way back in, what would that have been, 2013? Something like that. Maybe, 20, maybe the beginning of 2014. Um, yeah, it was this level that was the last one I did, and then I stopped after that because I realized, wow, this is actually really bad. So, there you go. Good tip. We're, after this level, the furthest we've ever been in a Let's Play in this. Not, not that that's that changing, but still. Hopefully that cutscene with uh, Knuckles and Rouge didn't ruin the experience too much for you, though I imagine so many people know this game and have it nostalgically that it was something new if they hadn't seen it before. So, if anything, I made it more interesting rather than taking away from it. Who knows? Um... Is there not a secret if I just go down straight away? No, I thought there would be a box here waiting for me. Never mind. Don't know where I got that idea from. Okay, can I like... Dude, how am I supposed to do anything? There we go, just about make it. So this level is all about gravity. You can turn it around at will. Don't know who Will is, but hopefully he doesn't mind that we're turning gravity at him. And I can't get used to these controls. There we go. I was pressing the wrong way. Ooh. You need to press switches to change the gravity, and that's about it. Have fun with that. Uh, you can die, I think, if you go in the middle one. And possibly. There's like just a, a floor down below, which is kind of a, a rude awakening for you, but there you go. One of these is correct, the others are not. Apparently, the right was the right way to go. Oh, well. Wow, okay, I'm not quite sure if that was a contended, but it ended up being that way. Ooh, hello. Hi, I shouldn't have been too fast. Okay, this guy releases a whole bunch of babies. They like to explode. I think we might have seen something like this in the first game. That's what it reminds me of. Either way, kill a head, you kill all of them. Chow container, no. Okay, I keep finding other secrets instead. Wow, that really increased my speed, didn't it? Huh. Uh, these guys, you use, to use somersault and destroy their feet instead is the go the main way to go get them. A bit abnormal. And these guys, you just time it normally, as you can probably imagine. Wow! Thank you! There was a gravity thing up there, but maybe it's not relevant. Who knows? I'd like to see this redone as well. More, more 3D space game levels, you know? Do we have that reason? I mean, I guess all of Sonic Colors had a lot of space in it, but like, I don't know, I want more like this. I don't know. Maybe I, I mean, hey. I would, I would say I want more of this. Who knows? Maybe Sonic Forces will, uh, you know, really get that itch for me. Who knows? I keep saying who knows way too much. I apologize. Who knows when I'll stop. We can't go any further forward. What we need to do is go back down. There's some really annoying sound design right here. Turn around. Here we go. And here's what I was thinking of the secret, the flame ring. Now we can destroy steel containers as well by making our feet fiery. Oops. 
Simple little upgrade, everyone gets it, they can destroy steel containers with it. Convenient, I guess. Yeah, somewhat. Has a sense of progression in it, so more stuff to complain about. Alright, let's go. Ah, I love grinding upside down. It's just real magical. Bam! Bam! Jesus, Eggman, you're very uh, enthusiastic about that, aren't you? I mean, I'm on my way, come on. I'm allowed to take four minutes if I need to. Let's not get crushed by boxes, eh? Okay, good start. That's cool. I like that a lot. There we go. Nope. I don't need this invisible guy, so I'll be fine without it. Let's go! And hello, buddy! Wah! Hey, oh, nope. Yeah. Yeah. No. Damn it! I don't get why that doesn't work sometimes. That's really annoying. Oh well. Because in my mind, I'm doing it perfectly right. Ah, oh, damn it! That was probably the closest I've ever gotten to getting that far because I never thought to spin dash to it. Oh well. It's so fun to do this. If you just want to destroy the babies one by one. It's fun. I enjoy it. Right, let's get this normally. Thank you. Secret at the other end of this room. Yes. Yes. How did I know? I, I, don't, know, I don't even know why I know, because I wasn't much of a treasure hunter in, as a kid. It just clicks. I played this game so much, I, I know a lot about it, I guess. Whoops. Oh, you can hurt these guys and listen to this. Damn it, get, in, get hit. Come on. There we go. I didn't do anything wrong. I'm leaving. I didn't hit the switch. Go me. Emergency, emergencies. Gotta wait. Nope. There you go. Well, technically, this isn't a room egg, man, because you put me out into the Oprah expanses of space. But you know what? Whatever works for you. I'll play your gravitational Tetris if you really want me to. You can technically break the game if you, you know, skip to other levels while you're at different, while you're at a wrong gravity, but you know, I'm not gonna put that risk in. Like, I think there's a way you can like beat half the level F from where we had the choice of going up, uh, down, left, and right. Whoops! Damn it! You could, um, you could make it so that we're at the same gravity from back then and then like get through the whole game like that, or, like the rest of the level, but I'm, I'm not a speedrunner. Ha uh ha! -huh. Yeah, yeah. Let's try this again, this time knowing that there's a bit that I can pull right through, because they planned it like that. Here we are. This is the death block. I gotta remember to jump. Wow, it doesn't give you much opportunity to, like, see that that's going on. But hey, I'll allow it for some reason. Probably just nostalgia. Hello. Goodbye. And give me this. Uh, nope. Give me this. There we go. Give me that. Lovely. And this too. Thank you. Beautiful. Alright. Good job, me. And spring. But I just can't get the controller to click on very well. Oh my lord, what is going on now? Now it's just disobeying me. I think half the gravity and half the control stick just disagreeing with directions. Oh, alright. And we're almost done. What was that? What was... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Damn it. Uh. Oh, well... I'm not the most comfortable right now, I'll be honest. Yeah, I, I'm dead. This controller makes this so much harder. Like, I don't know. I'm just fighting my controls just to get going. Legitimately. Here we go. Final bit. Don't... Oh, it's, it's, it's leaning to the right. I don't know if that's the game or the controller, but like, it's leaning me to the right and down. I can absolutely see how I had an issue. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. More of you. 
I have a feeling I'm supposed to go around back here, so I'm going here. Oh my lord, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Emergency. Emergency. Dude! Oh. Okay, this time I'm here to destroy the guy. Now I can do this. I'm being so careful. Lordy. Thank you. Hit the switch. There you, you are. Good lord. Glad that's over. Yes. Barely made it. Let's take care of business first, shall we, Sonic? Hand over the Chaos Emerald, slowly, and then we'll talk about your good friend. That is, if you really care for her. Handing over the fake emerald? I can kill two birds with one stone! Put the emerald down right there and back off. Turned into a big time villain, Doctor. <laughs> Whoa. You thought you could trick me with that fake emerald, didn't you? So, how did you know it wasn't the real one? Tails! <laughs> because you just told me, Fox Boy. A little space ride. The capsule clears the colony. Bam! I'm counting on you, Tails. Amy, take care of yourself. Farewell, Sonic the Hedgehog. properties. But can I do this? Farewell, my admirable adversary. <laughs> now we have some unfinished business to take care of. If you give me the real emerald, I will release you both. You have my promise. Sonny! Huh? Time for the fight against Dr. Eggman. Two! I don't know what you say, but this is obviously our second one. He plays a little bit differently. First things first, you notice he's actually got some upgrades of his own. He's got a big red barrier on the front of him, basically giving him a lot more health. Meanwhile, we do not have the same. But his super powerful weapon is a bunch of rock rockets and a big old laser, which I apparently am unable to dodge. All right, lovely. Let's try this again, shall we? Now also in the room is this big laser thing in the middle. And when you do that, you can actually... If you shoot down the laser thing in the middle, you can use that to also damage it. Mm, okay, now I'm just trying to keep my distance and get next to him rather than anything else. There we go, keep holding left and you're all good. And I've got him nearby when it explodes. Damn it, nope, not again, not quite. Alright, keep holding left. Uh-oh, hold left. 
I don't know what hit me, but something did. Damn it. Okay, I am really not good at this fight. That works. Just diagonally. Damn it. Okay, hovering does not work. Damn it, I was holding left, it just wouldn't do it. Couldn't dodge it. As you can see, these levels, are, these battles are kind of janky. Alright. I do not need... Yeah, yeah, I know. Sometimes you can just get lucky just by sort of brute forcing it. Like this time, I'm just going to brute force it. Aim straight at him, keep shooting. I'm doing more damage than he's doing to me. Except this is going to take me out of it. Oh no, there we go, I somehow got around it. They're a bit janky. I feel some strange energy. Tails and Amy. I hate to ask, but could you help them? This is our last chance. I got it. Before the cannon fires, I'll slam dunk it in there. And we'll be taking that on next time. For now, though, let me find an opportunity to pause it. There it is. My name's been Daz, you didn't really care, we have no lives left, and I'll see you in a bit. Ooh.